Hey everybody, it's Jamie, AKA the Bag Lady. It is Wednesday, April, oh God, what is the date today? Let's see if I can find out. Oh, it is Wednesday, April 27th. Um, and for those of you that don't know me, my name's Jamie, AKA the Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. By day, I am a business banking loan renewal specialist. Um, and today, what I've got for you guys is a little is something a little bit different. Um, it's a box from a reseller friend of mine, and um, a while back, um, we had some family drama with my aunt and some purses, and I'm not going to get into the whole thing. But anyway, I had my mom ask my aunt, um, you know, if she could pick any kind of bag that she wanted, what would it be? And she said coach. So unfortunately at the time, I didn't have a whole lot of coach bags on hand. So I reached out to my reseller buddy, um, buddies, happy haulers, um, Janet and Bryn. And Janet had some bags. Well, she had one in her closet that I laid claim to for my aunt. And then she had another one, a vintage one that she worked on for about a month for me. So I believe this stuff is in this box and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, you know, Janet and Bryn are awesome. I know a lot of you watch their channel. They're hilarious. Um, and they've really come, they've really become great friends of mine. Um, and anyway, it, it Janet really helped me out with this for my aunt and she got me the box in time. I'm gonna be able to repack it, get it sent off to my aunt in time for Mother's Day. Um, and, you know, my aunt lost her daughter several years ago. Um, so anyway, I, I know Mother's Day is always a struggle for her. She does have a son, you know, um, but Still, she's still missing one of her children. And anyway, I just wanted to make her day better. And so let me get on with this box. Um, and I'm going to show you, Janet and Bryn always do like this amazing job of packing everything up. And um, I mean, everything in here is individually packaged and... Some of this stuff is my stuff because I'll watch her videos and I'll be like, oh, can you put that in the Jamie pile? And she does the same thing to me. But actually, you know what? I'm going to save this card to read off, off camera because sometimes she gets me misty by what she writes. So, okay. So the first thing, and just to let you guys know, none of this stuff's going up for sale. Um, so... These are some flannel doggy pajama pants that, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear. I will probably put these bad boys on soon because it is cold as hell here in Michigan. So that is the first item in the Jamie pile and mom's already, I don't, and I don't know when I'm going to get to pur the purses. <laughs> You've got great taste. Let's see what this is. I bet yeah, I know what this one is. Yep. <clears throat> so Janet opened up. I don't. Well, I can't remember if these came from a bins haul or not. But these are some Woolrich women's khaki pants, size fourteen which I can't wait to try these babies on and see if they fit me because um, actually these might be my court pants because, um, you know, I got, we've got that little divorce situation going on and I got to go to court here soon and a bitch doesn't own anything other than blue jeans. So um, hopefully those fit me and those are my court pants. Okay. Oh, she's got it marked. This is one of Auntie's bags. Oops, I don't want to drop it because I... Okay, this baby is the vintage bag that she worked on for probably a month. 
conditioning and reconditioning and oh my god i just love this bag janet you outdid yourself oh my and she even stuffed it for me and you know what for resellers these air pillows are like gold so i'm saving my air pillows but i mean the inside of this bag is just incredible and she really did if you could have seen this bag before she started on it it was really just dry as a bone and I mean she's practically returned it to its original luster so thank you Janet because I know my aunt is just gonna love this bag I'm gonna set this over here oh and this is the other coach that I got out of Janet's closet for my aunt. It's the Coach Poppy. It's black and it's a fabric bag, but look at the inside, you guys. It's got this gorgeous red and my aunt loves red. So she is gonna absolutely positively love this bag. It is missing the crossbody strap, which, you know, Janet said she was trying to find one, but all she had was gold. And I'm like, listen, for, for the good deal that you gave me and all of the coach bags that I have in my personal possession, I am sure that I can give up a crossbody strap. So um, I am just so jazzed. And I know my aunt is going to be so excited when she sees that. So let's see what else we've got in here. Because again, you know, I forget. Oh, oh, oh. Prada baby. Prada baby. Y'all know how I love Prada and how I love pink. And I can't remember if Janet... <coughs> excuse me, got this in a designer box. I truly, truly don't remember. But it, you know what? This piece, actually, I was sort of, I was almost thinking about framing this and using it as art in my bedroom rather than carrying it because it is such an unusual piece. And when I redo my bedroom, um, I'm gonna paint it gray, and then I'm gonna do light pink accents. So anyway, oh my God, Janet. Oh my gosh. I had completely forgotten about this bag, and I just love it so much. It's so unusual. Um, anyway. It's, oh, oh, I'm in love. Anyway, so that actually might get hung on my wall as like a shadow art piece. And let's see. Oh, I think I know what this is. And I've been waiting on this bad boy. Yep. So this is my pink polo ball cap. And I'm not normally a baseball cap kind of girl, but it's pink, it's polo, and I just, I had to have it. So I'm more of a backwards baseball cap kind of girl, but anyway, I'm gonna play with this hat later. Um, But oh my God, I love it. Love it, love it. I'm so excited. All right, and I don't know what this piece is. Oh, yeah, baby. These are some polo sweatpants. And I, these are a size large. Oh, they're going to definitely, these bitches will definitely fit me. And I don't remember asking for them, but I know, I'm, I know I probably did. Um, so, yeah. All right. So I got some polo sweatpants to wear with my polo hat. And yes, it makes me so happy to get stuff for myself. Because so rarely 
um, you know, I do keep things occasionally or I give stuff to mom and I catch and release like all resellers do. Um, oh, these are socks. Oh, oh yeah. These are my van socks. She opened these in a box and, um, yeah, I just had to have them because I don't know. <laughs> I did. I just had to have them. So thank you, Janet. And it's so funny because she she makes fun of me every time I get socks off of her because I had like this sock and hosiery and tight death pile that she actually bought for me. And so she teases me because she bought my death pile, sock and hosiery death pile, and then here I am turning around and buying socks off of her. Oh my God, I can't wait to try these babies on. These, oh, and mom's going nuts over them. These are Talbot's shorts, size 14. I, I hope to God that these fit me because I love them. They're a paisley print. They've got pinks and purples and oh shit, the boys are gonna come in and the dog's gonna go nuts. So just to let you guys know, these shorts do not appear to have been worn. And hey guys, I'm filming. So anyway, I saw these on her video and I was like, if you got no takers for these babies, put them in the Jamie pile. So I cannot wait to rock those bitches. Ooh, and I think they'll go with my pink hat. Oh snap, hey Zach, can you come here? Okay, so this last package is for Zach and it just so happens that Zach walked in with his buddies. Will you do me a favor, Zach, and open this on camera for Janet? Uh, I don't go on camera. Please, just, can you just do it one time? Nope. All right, well, will you open it and like, I'll flash it in front of the camera. Okay. I can't get Zach to go on camera. He won't go on camera. He's here for lunch with his buddies. I really should be up making sandwiches for all of them. But instead, I am playing with you guys. And... Oh! It's a tool belt? It is not a tool belt. Oh, shit. I don't know what it is. Then. It okay. is an ammo. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe this is like for hunting and ammo. Oh, shit, I need that. And I think we talked about this a while ago. And yes. So he, he didn't know what it was, Janet, but he needs it. <laughs> so um, can you give Janet and Bryn a big, huge thank you? Thank you, Janet and Bryn. I really <laughs> appreciate the ammo pouches. I'm going to use those. I will actually use these too. Yeah, he, he will definitely use that. Um, so anyway, that was that was my friend box. Thank you guys for entertaining me and watching um, while I open stuff that is actually not going up for sale. Um, but anyway, like I said, this is how I relax and you know unwind and <clears throat> it can't, it was on my porch today. I was so stinking excited and. Now I can turn around and get those bags to my aunt in time for Mother's Day. Thank you again, Janet and Bren. You guys are the best. You, their channel is um, Happy Hour Haulers, and they are a riot, let me tell you. Um, I laugh so hard sometimes that I have to stop the video and like wipe the tears from my eyes so I can finish watching the videos, their videos. Um, but anyway, with that, you guys, I'm gonna go. I don't know when I'll be back with another video. Um, I think I have another sleepwear box coming and I know I've got a Goodwill auction lot of purses. So AKA the bag ladies getting back into the purse game, you guys. Um, I, I've been light on purses. I'm going to tell you, I got a girl <clears throat> that whenever I get new stock in, she is here like flies on shit, buying up all my bags and I tease her. It's like, you know, Amber. How many arms you got to be carrying all these bags, girl? But anyway, with that, I'm going to go, you guys. Peace out.